Stacy Burke here, and it's a Monday, so it's time for a grocery haul. For you, it's a Monday. For me, it's a Saturday. I went shopping on a Saturday. It is the 18th of January. The reason I went shopping today is, well, I could. Um, I just could. Um, it's a sunny day, so I took a chance to go for a jog today. Plus, this Monday, I'm scheduled. I don't know if it's really happening because it got postponed a couple times, but I'm pretty sure it's happening. I have a photo shoot, actually a wrestling match, scheduled for January 20th. So I wasn't sure if I was going to make it to go grocery shopping. And it's going to be a busy week this week, so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to get it done right now uh, while I can, and I'm in the workout mode. Um, I've been kind of like, um, I was going to go see a show yesterday, last night, my band's, one of my friend's band was playing. I feel really bad for not going, but I just didn't feel like it. Um, I, I've been binge watching movies. Well, one movie in particular. You ever heard the movie The Professional? It was in, it was made in 1994. It has Natalie Portman as a 12 year old kid. I watched it um, a long time ago, um, but I don't know if I watched from the beginning. Anyway, last night I got kind of caught up in it, and that's why I didn't go out. And then this morning it was on again, so I got caught up in it, but I worked out at home. So I was working out at home while I watched it. Um, tonight I'm really going to try to make an effort to go out because some other friends of mine their, their band is playing, so I want to go out to see them. And it's Martin Luther King um, weekend, so there's another band playing on Sunday that I want to go see. So, you know, it's kind of good that I, I took one night off. I can't keep, I can't go to all the, all the events, right? So, um, and then Monday I got to be bright up and early because I have a wrestling match for, for on Monday. So I figured I'm just going to go get the groceries. And I really, honestly, I always say this, I didn't need much, but I really, 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 really didn't need much. Because I did a wrestling match on Thursday, and the guy that put it together, Jeff, he was so kind that he was asking all the girls, what do you want? And I go, I don't know, maybe a vegetarian pizza. And I guess I was the only one that asked for a vegetarian pizza, so he gave me the whole pizza. So I've been eating it. I still have leftover because no one else wanted it. So I took the I took it all home, and so I've been eating that. So I really didn't need much at all, but I did want to get since I've been binge watching movies. I thought, well, I really want to go out and get some fresh air, and go for like a little jog. So I'll go jog to the store and I'll grab a few things, you know, just a few things, just to tide me over um, and to do a video. So uh, let me show you what I got. I got it all in my cart. Um, this thing was a spur of the moment because Valentine's thing is out. This is a big heart pillow. They had pink ones, they had purple ones, they had striped ones, but this is like a mint green pistachio, something you wouldn't really recognize, recognize as a heart for a heart pillow. But I wanted something not too Valentine's-y because I want to use this forever because it's like, it's really soft. My cats are going to love it. I just got to take off the tags and it's really soft. Oh, I love it. <laughs> this was like $10. So this was a big major spend. I spent like a little over $40. I'll put the price down. I think I spent a little over $40 as I remember. But I got this big pillow. So I had a, luckily I had, um, what are these called? Bungee cords. I had a bungee cord. This one. And I'm sorry if the lighting's like kind of weird. It The sun's going in and out. It's kind of cloudy. And it's it sometimes kind of sunny. You want to spin the pillow, Felix? There's the pillow. I'll put this there. Okay, the next thing. Oh, I love these things. I just, I'm going to just give them to I'm actually looking for uh, Cheetos has popcorn out. Everyone's been talking about it. It hasn't been made it to my store yet. But Cheetos has cheese, normal Cheetos cheese popcorn, and they have the hot flaming popcorn. I cannot wait till I find it because I want to try it. But in the meantime, I like to have these on hand because <laughs> I love these. But I know I, I got to be careful with them because they are addicting. But I got my flaming hot Cheetos. I love them to snack. 
Also, you could crumble up and you could you could deep fry things, and a lot of people do stuff. Now, last week I said, remember, I need a Miracle Whip, so I grabbed it. I grabbed it. It was like $4.99, but it's just a big thing of just normal Miracle Whip because I like this better than mayonnaise. Although, mayonnaise is growing on me. You know, I've had mayonnaise in the refrigerator, and I've been eating it. But Miracle, Miracle Whip is my... That's my jam. That's my jam. And I still have some lettuce in there. And yeah, sometimes I like to just dip it in, in Miracle Whip. You know, I do. Or or just I have some bread. I put that on bread and I just put some cheese and some and some lettuce and I make like a cheese lettuce miracle whip sandwich. I, I like doing that. It's my thing. And since I got the Cheetos, I have to have something to dip it in. Miracle Whip doesn't really go with it too much. But, so I just got um, just normal sour cream. Just sour cream. I like to dip that. Plus, sour cream goes with a lot of things. I do love my sour cream. So I got that. Oh, good. I got some more water. Whoa. I guess I'm top heavy. I got some more. Hopefully, the wine didn't crack again. Hopefully, hopefully that didn't crack the bottle again. My, my cart just fell down. So I got some water. I'm not really a fan of Crystal Geyser. But that's all they had. Um, let's see, Felix. Let's see if this, hopefully this didn't break anything. Uh, let's see. Let's see if it cracked anything. I don't think so. Okay. I got my champagne because I'm back to the champagne now. I like this with my grapefruit juice. I like the brute champagne. So I only got a couple bottles. I didn't get enough to get the discount because I didn't want to stock up that much. But I got two bottles of Brute Champagne. And I'm kind of liking this. This is my favorite wine now. I'm kind of trying to go back to red wine instead of um, drinking whiskey because now it's not the holidays anymore. I'm trying to get away from the eggnog and the brandy and the whiskey and all that kind of stuff, you know. I'm trying to get away from that, you know, the Jack Daniels and all that. I'm trying to go back to, like on the weekends, I have my mimosas, and during the week, after working all day, I'll have a couple glasses of wine. I look a little frumpy. Sorry, it's my jogging outfit, my little scarf. But you think I've been wearing scarves lately, because I notice that if I keep my throat warm, it helps. It just helps. And sometimes I get sore throats and stuff, so, yeah. Plus, I'm a little self-conscious with my neck anyway. But I do notice if I keep my neck warm... It, it stops me from being so freezing all the time. Well, anyway, this is my new favorite wine right now. Uh, it's called Big Bold Red. It's by Yellowtail. It's like a, um, it's just a, a red blend, and I really like it. And I bought that aerator. I bought an aerator. Um, it's this thing that you put in there. It's like a little funnel, and when you pour it, it, it um, puts air in the wine. Oh my God, it makes such a difference. I really should have done that a long time ago. People kept telling me and I never like, I'm like, whatever, whatever. But finally, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to buy one and see if it works. Oh my God. I do highly recommend it because I can't afford to buy expensive wine all the time. I just can't. And sometimes you buy expensive wine and it's not good. Like, I don't, I don't want to, like, experiment. Maybe one of these days I will. But I just go for what I like. Like, I like this. And it's good even without the aerator. But with the aerator, this makes this taste ten times better. So I do recommend it. Like, if you, like, if you, if you can't afford expensive bottles of wine all the time, get the aerator. It's a good uh, investment. And I got the one that you just put right on top and then uh, it pours. I think I put a picture on my Instagram. Go on my Instagram, you'll see which one I got. Um, it really makes it taste better. It really makes it taste better. So I got two of these. Let me check this bottle, make sure it didn't break. Nope, it looks all good. But yeah, this is my go-to now. This is my wine now. This is like five bucks. Look, well, actually six bucks. Like it's five dollars in some cents. So it's about six bucks. So I got that. And I think that's all I got. Yep, that's it. I told you it wasn't much. Um, you know, I just stocked up on my wine and my champagne since I did do the shopping earlier. So I'm not going to go again until the 27th of January. So um, I just want to stock up. And like I said, I don't really need much. Here's my champagne. I do like grapefruit juice, pink grapefruit juice, no sugar. 
So that's it. I got so much food. I didn't need it. I don't need cat litter, cat food. I got all that last time. And that's it. Unless I, I can't remember something, but I think that's pretty, I'm pretty good to go. So that's my grocery haul. I'm sorry. That's about it. I think I'm going to put all this stuff away. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. I might put on that movie again. It's so bad, but I like, I really want to watch the professional again and maybe work out a little bit more and maybe go play on the internet. Um, and uh, of course I got to edit and uh, upload this and then I'll get ready for tonight to go see the bands. Um, and then tomorrow's Sunday, I think I want to clean the house. Um, because my roommate slept in today, so I didn't want to, like, wake him up. But tomorrow, I think I'm going to, like, wash my hair. It's my washing hair day. I don't I only wash my hair, like, once a week. So tomorrow, I think I'm going to wash my hair. And as my hair dries, I think I'm going to clean the house. And I think I'm just going to stay home until the concert I want to go to, the gig. Not really a concert, but, like, the gig I want to go to Sunday night. That way, um, I'm ready to go for my shoot on Monday. Yeah, I've been shooting a lot. I've been kind of doing that because, um, as you know, I got laid off from the laundry, um, the, the laundromat. So I've been kind of doing my own thing where I do laundry for my friends and stuff and I get money. But that's pretty much on the side. I've been trying to um, work more doing uh, the fetish modeling. So I've been kind of getting more gigs that way. And I am going to be shooting more for my OnlyFans site um which is onlyfans.com backslash casey burke so i'm going to be shooting more there as well as i got lots and lots of content from all my years modeling so i pretty much post there every single day so go ahead and join that and uh, it is adult but it's not that adult like in other words like um it's fetishy and camping i just put a lot there because as you know youtube has changed their, their stuff a lot where um you know, they just, they don't really allow a lot. And I haven't made my channel completely. Uh, I just uh, click the thing, not kid friendly. That way I don't have to worry about it. You know, because I'm a fetish model and I'm going to talk about it. So even though this is a grocery haul, totally to me kid friendly. But I just made my whole channel that way so I don't even have to worry about it. Um, which means I don't really get any revenue from this, but that's fine. Like I said, I don't really, I never really made that much out of it anyway. I do this for fun. So, um, yeah, so, yeah. So if you want like content that it's adult, but it's not even that adult. It's, it's more like I could just put whatever I want on OnlyFans. And so I post pretty much every single day and I could say what I want, do what I want. And, um, so if you want me uncensored, I should, that's what I should call it. I should say my uncensored site. That's where I post things that are uncensored. No filter. Hashtag no filter. Although some of them do have filters because, you know, sometimes there is. All right. Well, I'm going to let you guys go because I think I am going to put on that movie again and, and do stuff around the house. So to all my sis cadets and all my briquettes, I hope you have a great day. Until next time, peace.